Good morning, everyone. Well, we're waiting for everyone to get in and get settled. Now is a great time to grab anything that you need to get comfortable. Maybe that's a glass of water, a cup of tea or coffee. Also, if you would like to smudge with me and you have those items at home, it's a good time to grab those as we begin to ignite the healing within. So welcome everyone. If you don't have smudge at home, that is perfectly okay. Myself and our relatives who are smudging at home are going to send you some positive and healing energy your way. So good morning, everyone. It's a new day, everyone. Our opportunity to start again. Sending you some healing and cleansing energy. Aloha kakahiaka. My name is Malia and I'm a community healer at the Her Wellness Institute. We are a nonprofit organization that focuses on the mental health and wellness of our relatives of Turtle Island, as well as other indigenous and underserved communities and also victims of crime. You can join us here every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. We will always breathe, stretch, explore ways of integrating wellness and self-care into our daily lives. And we will always honor our cultural traditions, our customs, our ancestry, our strength, and our resilience. So mahalo for joining us this morning. I want to do a check-in and see how our relatives are doing today. Um, currently, I am at home this morning. Wednesday mornings is my virtual workday. Um, so... Here I am um, in the comfort of my home. I got to sleep in late and I'm doing well. But how are you doing, relatives? And if you want to comment, please do. I do want to say um, also a good morning to our Her Wellness Institute team members. We have our Community Engagement and Indigenous Affairs Director, Jamie Kellycutt. And I'm hoping we also have our occupational therapist here with us, Claudia Meyer-Smith. Pleasure as always, ladies. I just love to spend the morning with you and all of our relatives here. It truly is an honor to be here as we all practice community activated medicine. This has been developed and turned by our founder and CEO, Leah Denny. Community activated medicine means that the people are the medicine. Right here, right now, each and every one of us get to play our part in healing those that we are with. And if the people are the medicine, that also means that we in our own hearts, our own minds, our bodies and our spirits have that ability to do our own part of our healing. This is community activated medicine. I wanna let our viewers know that I have been 
trying endlessly every day and trying again yesterday to work out why Facebook does not allow me to see comments, but I do not see comments. So um, sometimes I wonder if I've like reached the max amount of comments or something that I'm allowed to get. But I do want to assure you relatives during these videos, Jamie is um, here with you. Claudia is here with you. These are therapists. Claudia's are occupational therapists. And not only that, not only that, um, the studying that they've done, but aside from that, their heart and their intention, these are people who are here and passionate to help you as you walk along your path and journey of wellness and self-care and mental health. So please do continue to comment. Please do continue to speak to the other relatives here who are viewing. This is still community activated medicine and I'm here with you in heart, mind, and spirit. So do know um, after these videos, I do read the comments. So if there's something specifically you want me to see, know that I will get it. I hope you're doing well. And for those of our relatives out there, if you're not doing okay today, I will always consistently remind us that it's okay not to be okay. We all have those days. I have those days. You have those days. You have those days. Jamie and Claudia has those days. There is not a person on this planet who doesn't have days that aren't so good. But if you're feeling that way and if you're feeling not okay, do reach out to somebody that you trust. Maybe that's a family member or a friend. Maybe it's a coworker, someone that you know that you can talk to. And you can also reach out to our CARES Warm Line, which is open every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Our CARES Warm Line will connect you with our CARES counselors. You can call or you can text, you'll get a response back within 24 hours and our counselors will provide you with emotional support. You can talk to them about what's on your mind. Maybe you're worried, maybe you're anxious or sad, or maybe you're even mad. They will listen to you with respect, judgment free. They can provide you with that emotional support and also with resources that may be helpful to you. Relatives, we understand at the Her Wellness Institute that sometimes our strength and our resilience and our self-care means that we recognize that in order to heal, sometimes we need to lean into others. So relatives, know that you are not alone. You're here with us now. And that all it takes is a phone call or a text. I want to share my tea so that I can sip it. <laughs> and then we'll get into some deep breathing. We'll stretch. And today, I want to focus on some positive affirmations. And I also want to chant with you after we share the lunar phase that we're in today according to my ancestral teachings. The, the proverbs and positive affirmations I want to share with you, I will actually say in Olalo Hawaii or native Hawaiian language. I want to show you this tea today. And what's interesting about it, look at it, it looks as dark as coffee, almost as dark as coffee. It's a really rich, deep brown color. What's interesting about this tea, as dark as the color of it is, it's actually ginger tea. Now this, you can see I coin sliced, peeled my ginger, chopped it up, boiled it. Now what I did that makes it a little bit darker in color, and it's probably gonna taste a lot more potent, I'll tell you in just a moment, is I, sometimes when I'm in a rush, I'll boil it on high, and I'll boil it for like 10 minutes and I'll drink it, and it's generally a lighter color. Not last night. I boiled it on low for like two hours. And so I'm going to let you know how it tastes. Again, ginger is excellent for the tummy if you're feeling nauseous. When I was pregnant with my son, that was over 11 years ago now, 
when I was pregnant with him, ginger was one of the only things that I could um, smell for the without getting sick. And it was one of the only things that I could drink without getting sick. I couldn't even drink water. So I know the power of ginger tea for me for nausea, with digestion, um, any tummy issues overall. And in the morning, it's great for a revitalized pick-me-up. It's very warming. Um, and particularly if you're sensitive to caffeine, it's a great way to start the morning instead. So to all of our Wonder Women and Supermen out there, I got some paint on my cup. Um, cheers to you to good health. Feel free to let us know what you're drinking for your morning elixir in our comment section. Woo! Ha! That is spicy good. Spicy good. Very effervescent, spicy on the tongue. This would be really good if you're having, if your sinuses are feeling a little funky, this would be really good to open that up. I can already feel it in my tummy. The spice is nice and warming and it's helping digest everything that's in my tummy. It feels great. The way that I would even it out if it was real spicy like this, if you're sensitive to spice, you could add more water to it um, and then just boil it. Don't boil it down, but just add more water and heat it. The other thing you could do to counterbalance the spice, if you don't like the intense spice, is to add some honey to it or maple syrup. Ooh, I love it. That's so good. All right, relatives, I want to go to our deep breathing. And let's just do a quick reminder about why deep breathing is important. When you're worried or anxious, and this, I do this all the time too, if your mind's racing, you're in that rabbit hole and you're feeling like you're having kind of like, I'll know that I recognize it now because my mind will be just one big thought or thoughts. And it's like, I'm not even present. I'm just ahead. I'm just living in my head and, and my racing thoughts. Now, when I recognize that, I immediately go to deep breathing. And what that does is it helps to calm the body. It'll slow your heart rate. It'll bring you to your center and keep you grounded. And this is extremely powerful. Um, I was always one of those people who really underestimated the power of deep breathing. This was up until I practiced it with you relatives. When we first started staying at home in mid-March, we deep breathed together about three times a day. Now, being a person who used to suffer from insomnia, um, racing thoughts, um, just a lot of kind of icky things that were happening that were not serving my higher good and that were not good for me. Since we've been deep breathing together, I sleep regularly. Um, if It's not that my thoughts never race, but when they do, now I can more quickly recognize that that negativity is happening and I immediately go to the deep breathing and it does help me center. When the deep breathing stills the mind and we begin to practice this regularly, our spirit, this is how I felt it personally, it opens up the spirit because the body becomes calm and the body becomes quiet and the mind stops taking over and the heart and the spirit becomes more prevalent. It becomes able more to open up and it expands and when this happens, and our spirit allows us to understand the beauty of our lives. It allows us to practice gratitude. It allows us to understand our blessings more. It exponentially expands. And what happens is we feel a better sense of well-being. We're able to cope with the things in life that we don't necessarily, you know, are cope with otherwise. It just really helps. So deep breathing relatives, not preaching it, just living it. It's excellent for us. So I'm going to start with my feet flat on the floor. Please join me. If you like, you can sit, lay or recline however you want to. Also, you're, you can close your eyes. That's an option, but you don't have to. We're going to breathe in through the nose for a count of four, and we're going to exhale through the mouth for a count of six. As we inhale through our nose for four, our bellies are going to expand. Let that healing energy come into your body. 
And as we exhale through the mouth for the count of six, our bellies are going to contract. As we release any of that tension or negativity or whatever is not serving you, we'll release it out of our bodies. You can put your hands gently into your lap if you like, or you can even place your left hand over your heart and your right hand on top. As we breathe in, we're going to take in some healing energy. And when you breathe in, focus on areas in your body. Is there tension anywhere? Are you feeling tension or pains, aches? Is your mind in a place of worry? Does your heart hurt physically or maybe just emotionally? And when you're feeling those feelings, breathe in some healing energy to those areas that need it and exhale and release any of those emotions that aren't serving you. Here we go, relatives, deep inhale, expanding that belly. And exhale through the mouth. Deep inhale through the nose for four. And exhale. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Let's continue to breathe as we roll the shoulders. Working out any tension that you might be storing here in your neck or shoulders or your upper back. Let's take a deep inhale as we bring those arms out. Where's the yawn? Oh, and, and exhale as we bring that arm across, stretching out that shoulder and upper back, rolling the wrist. Inhale. And exhale, bring it to the other side, rolling out that wrist there. Inhale, and extend that arm forward in front of us, gently pushing down on the fingertips, stretching the forearms here. If that doesn't feel good, you can roll the wrist here, or really just choose any stretch that you like or need. Listen to your body. Your body is the experts of what you need. Your body knows what you need. Inhale, clasping those fingers, pushing the palms out, exhaling, bringing the hands up towards the ceiling, and bending gently from side to center. Yeah, so what I was saying is you really can listen to your body and know what you need. Choose whatever stretch feels right for you. I'm just giving guidelines, but really you know best. Trust yourself. Inhale. Stretching the other tricep, pushing down with the opposite hand to the elbow. Whew. Oh, my neck just cracked looking side to center, side to center. Nice gentle cracks little pops here. Now, if it feels okay, that's great. If you hear noises, double tapping the ear towards the shoulder. It's fine as long as it feels okay. Because sometimes when we do these neck and shoulder stretches, I'll hear little crackles. All right, we're going to take the chin from shoulder to shoulder. Keep it on the front, nice and gentle, rolling slowly. I need a hairbrush. <laughs> I need to brush my hair. <laughs> Looking down towards the left and gently up towards the ceiling. And down towards the lap and stretching the neck one last time. It feels great right here. How'd that feel, relatives? We've developed such a um, such a like a trusting, loving circle of people here that um, I'll be honest. Sometimes I wake up, I roll out of bed, I throw on my house coat, and. Uh, didn't necessarily put the, that brush through my hair yet. <laughs> so, come as you are. Come in jammies. Come in your business clothes if you got to go to work. Come however you feel comfortable. All right, relatives, I want to talk about the moon that we're in according to... Um, my ancestral teachings, which is Kiala Oka Mahina, otherwise the pathway to the moon. Um, Hawaiians, we believe traditionally that there's a different moon for every day of the month. So there's 30 of them. 
And today we're in a very, very beautiful phase of the moon. We're in what we call the moons of Kaloa, Kaloa, Kulua. We're in the second day of Kaloa. Now, what does that mean? I'll translate for you. Lua is day two. Um, Ku is standing. So we're like in the second standing day of Kaloa. Kaloa is another day, a name for Kanaloa. Kanaloa is one of the four major Hawaiian gods. This is a god of the deep sea, a god of travel and voyage, a god of moving forward ahead, even though we might not see exactly what's in front of us. We have um, that desire to discover, that desire to um, be fulfilled by going to places we have not gone before. It's a good day for fishing as we are in um, a moon that really supports a god of fishing. Um, but really also, if you're not a fisherman, if you're not a gardener, it is a great day for you to forge ahead. If you, if you want to try, if you're looking to integrate maybe some new ways to explore self-care and wellness, and especially from an indigenous perspective, um, we as Native Hawaiians in that traditional way truly believe that these are the days that support that, that support, um, moving forward, that support maybe trying something new, to travel, to talk to people who maybe are from a different place than you, to seek different perspectives for growth. All right, relatives, before I do some chanting for us to start our morning off um, in a way of peace and reflection, I do want to share some Hawaiian quotes and um, proverbs. Um, I want to say that um, first I want to say mahalo and thank you to, um, to all of our relatives out there um, who are, you know, receiving this me speaking the Hawaiian language, I want to thank you because our Hawaiian language, like many of our Turtle Island relatives, we were not allowed to speak Hawaiian for a long time. For over 150 years, it was actually illegal to speak Hawaiian. And um, the language is so healing for me to heal, to hear. Um, and I just find it to be, um, it's also an act of justice for our Native Hawaiian people. So mahalo, thank you so much for letting me speak. Um, I also wanna say too, I am not a fluent um, uh, Olelo Hawaii speaker. I'm not a fluent speaker. The way that I learned to speak was through Hawaiian dance um, and through chant. So a lot of it um, is in lyrics. Um, I did study um, the Native Hawaiian language in college for some years. Um, but I am no, by no means fluent, and I'm just saying that to you just as a full disclosure of just being honest of where I am on my own path. But I have been taught a lot of melee or songs, and I'll share with you. There is a website called the thesacredhawaiianway.com, and um, there is a lot of olalo no eo on here, which... Olalo means language and no'eo means like wisdom. So I'm just going to turn my music off here. And I'm not sure if you could hear the music anyways, but um, just to be able to um, um, just so you could really hear the Hawaiian language words. Um, this one I'm going to share with you. Ua kuluma ke kanaka ke aloha, which means it is natural for people to behave in a loving way. It is natural for people to behave in a loving way. When we're born, right? We're just, we're reaching out for love. We are loving. And as we get older, that's when we start, like, you know, the tr things happen, painful things happen, and then we're not sure, you know, when to love and when to trust. 
And it's important to remember that who we truly are are beings of pure love. Here's another beautiful saying. Kuia kahele akanao ha'aha'a. This means a humble person walks carefully so as not to hurt others. Kuia kahele akanao ha'aha'a. It is natural for us to be loving. That is our natural state. And I've also found too from reading, um, you know, um, meditations from um, our Turtle Island elders um, over the course of the last few months. I've actually read a few times that um, that that is also a way of being was to be careful into how we walked. We didn't just, you know, tramp, tramp through, you know, um, tramp through the earth and not, not, consider who's there or what's there or what medicines are there or what we might damage or destroy. And so to walk humbly so as not to hurt others is a very beautiful um, proverb to me. I think that's so lovely. I like this next phrase a lot. It applies to community activated medicine. Aohe hananui ka aluya which means no task is too big when done together. Aohe hana nui kaluya. No task is too big when done together. And that's why relatives were here every Monday through Friday morning at 8 a.m. Because right now, let alone prior to what we've been going on since what you know with since March. But right here, right now, we can take sometimes these things that seem so huge and sometimes insurmountable, and we can be together. And we can talk about the things that are on our minds, the things that maybe are, they can seem very intimidating, and sometimes they can seem endless. But the beauty of being here together when we practice community-activated medicine is we can share, we can share the support of each other, we can share our own wisdom at any time, relatives, when you're out there and you're watching these videos, you are full of wisdom too. You have ways of healing. You have your ancestral ways and you can share that with relatives here too. We all play our part in this healing with each other. So please feel free to share. And again, relatives too, it's a super bummer that I cannot see your comments. I don't know what Facebook is doing to me. I have tried numerous computers, but remember we do have Jamie and Claudia here, our Her Wellness team members who are phenomenal people and also have um, the tools and support and the education to be able to help you. Um, They're here, the other relatives are here and I'm gonna stick with it until I figure out how to see these comments again. Um, but remember, no task is too big when done together. And the greatest way that we can practice that healing is deep breathing and taking small steps every day. They seem small of wellness and self-care. And what does wellness and self-care look like? The beauty of it is, is it's, there's infinite possibilities of self-care and wellness. And it's up to you to decide what's right for you on your path. And sometimes self-care and wellness looks like drinking a cup of tea. Sometimes it looks like a deep breath. Sometimes it looks like going for a walk outside of nature. Sometimes it's taking a nap. Sometimes there are things that are more difficult, like going to the dentist or the doctor when you don't want to, but you know it might be better for you. Sometimes it's, it's things that like, you know, maybe talking to a counselor or reaching out to a loved one when you know you're not feeling okay. And there's these small things, they seem small every day, one step at a time. This morning when we do this together, we smudge together, that's one moment. We breathe together, we stretch together. Maybe you're drinking your coffee or tea. Maybe you're practicing gratitude. 
And then by the time we're done with these videos, that's already half a dozen things of self-care and wellness that you've done. And I'd like to offer you a friendly challenge, relatives. Today, tomorrow, or whenever you're ready. See how many actions of self-care, wellness, self-love, and compassion that you can put in your day. Maybe it's a hundred things. Maybe it's three things. But either way, you're taking those steps, those steps up the mountain. Sometimes we climb high and then we slip back down. It ebbs and flows like the ocean tide. Some days you're going to have great days. The next day it might be a horrible day. And so is life. But we have those tools of self-care and wellness that will get us through it. And sometimes when we feel like we can't take those steps forward, we can't even crawl forward, that's when we know we can take respite. And that's what we're doing right here, right now. Respite to res restore, to reflect on how powerful we are, how resilient we are. We are the culmination and product of all of the actions of our ancestors, and, and the beauty of our choice and our own soul and spirit of who we are, we culminate into this beautiful being, these sentient beings with spirit and heart and mind and body. That is our strength. That is our resilience. So before we go, relatives, I want to chant for you. <clears throat> um, I'm going to chant the sunrise chant. It seems like a beautiful day. This is honoring the new beginnings, the ability for every day as a blessing, as something sacred, as that sun rises from the east, from the heavens and the highest heavens to the oceans and the deepest oceans. Here the sun is again. We are part of that sacred experience. E ala e ekla e ka yi ki na yi kamo anna kamo anna ho nu pi kaleva kaleva nu u e a kala e ki na aya yi kala e ala e. I'm gonna do it one more time. E ala e. Ekala e kahi ki na i kamo anna kamo anna ho honu pi i kalava kalava nu ekala e kahi ki na aya i kala e ala e. There's the sun rising in the east. I chanted it twice because I got a little tongue tied the first time. I'm going to do our Eho Mai chant, one more chant before we go. Eho Mai, we're asking for the wisdom from above to see this from the creator, to see from the heavens above the hidden wisdom, the knowledge that we need. We're seeking knowledge. So if there's something in your mind or in your heart right now that you want to ask um, the creator, or you want to ask the universe for an answer, we can sit with that right now and keep your mind open. I'm going to chant. E humai kai ke mai luna mai e. O na me a huna no e a huna me le. E humai. E hu mai, e hu mai, e hu mai kai ke mai luna mai, o na me a hu na o no e a o na me le, e hu mai, e hu mai, e hu mai. 
mai kai ke mai luna mai e O e nga ha me ahu nga uno e au nga mele E hu mai, e hu mai, e hu mai e e e e I want to say mahalo nui loa Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Malamo ponoi kokino. Take good care of your body. Aloha nui. Big love to you. <clears throat> Before we go, there is a community survey that's linked to this video. It's completely anonymous and it helps us understand how best to serve you relatives. So please do take a moment, ask just a few questions. Please do fill it out because that is our passion here at the Her Wellness Institute. We are here to help you with healing. Ahui ho akuno. I'll see you later. Much love and aloha. See you tomorrow, 8 a.m.